course, as everyone knows, uh, the boring company is boring a tunnel. Uh, this week, Tesla announced, or the boring company announced, that they were halfway complete and they released some photographs of the tunnel and it looked exactly like a tunnel. <laughs> oh, cool. And, and that's as helpful as it sounds. Um, my, my commentary here on, on this story was going to be, uh, this was before the news came out. They actually had some photographs. They were halfway done. Uh, was that, uh, again, Las Vegas has spent a lot of money on this eight tenths of a mile tunnel. Uh, um, and we're not even really sure how it's all going to operate yet. All we know is that Tesla vehicles are going to shuttle people between three stations on an 0.8 of a mile uh, uh, tunnel. And what's the cost per mile to dig this tunnel? Uh, well, it was $50 million. <laughs> well, but we don't have to worry no, about it because they didn't go a full mile. So it was like free, right? Because it's yeah. cost per mile. <laughs> That's so, why it's 0.8 miles because <laughs> paid 50 million per mile. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is, you know what? This Definitely. is really j just a, uh, a wait and see, as we've said with this. It's going to be interesting to see what, what Tesla vehicle uh, they make. Uh, they make the tunnel adapt. If I don't know if any of you, did anybody see the pictures that Tesla, the boring company posted? No. No, um, the one that you've got on this article here looks like the the people mover in Disney, and I don't yeah, see a trash yeah, can no, anywhere. No, so it's this was, we know it's not legit. There's no trash can. It was literally an article <laughs> today, I think. Um, the the photographs uh, look exactly like every other boring company tunnel. In fact, it could have been Hawthorne for all I know. A smaller Ex tunnel. Uh, except, yeah, it looks a little smaller, and there's nothing in the bottom. Like there's no track, there's no roadway, there's no rail, uh, which which obviously I guess that's going to be installed at some point in the future, but there's in other words, no hint as to what is going to run in these tunnels. It's a, uh, in this a article slide. on, this is a 60 yeah, passenger slide. autonomous vehicle. <laughs> well, that's, mm. that's what they've been saying. But according to this article in curb.com, any and all references to that skid, I think they were calling it is, uh, has been removed. And then the from the website, yeah. the skate, Yep. From the oh. website, from their Instagram, from everything. That's been wiped clean like it never existed. And there was some mention that um, the cars may be driving on their own tires. Which, okay, that would simplify things because you don't need a skate. But it would complicate things if somebody has a blowout. So, you know, you have to think about that. If you're in the middle of a 5 or 10 mile tunnel, you're trying to avoid traffic. And then suddenly someone's car has a blowout, then, you know, everything comes to a screeching halt. It would, it would, you know, so that's why I'm saying maybe the skate is a better idea or a, a Tesla specific vehicle with solid wheels or something where they can control all the variables. I, I mean, if it's a closed environment, it's unlikely to get a blowout because there's going to be no nails and screws, you know, uh, like there are just, on public street. I'm just, I'm just wear or, you know, or even just anything, even, you know, for, for some stupid reason, cars would stop, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just looking at all the variables that. Well, this isn't that, that just that normal there. traffic, right? This is controlled environment. Right. I mean, this is like if you had a rubber tired airport vehicle that took people from terminal to terminal saying, well, what if it gets a flat tire? I mean, they, it's unlikely. Just come in from the other side, tow it oh. or change the tire and keep on going. Right. Looking at the looking right. at the photo right. here, um, this this is very reminiscent of what the Hawthorne Tunnel did look like when it was first built. It did have a railroad track at the bottom that was to help with the boring machine, mm -hmm. and that was to transport uh, debris out of the tunnel mm -hmm. uh, and move stuff in and out supplies. Uh, so after the fact, the uh, railroad track is removed, and then a, a flatter surface is put in place for the vehicle to drive on. But what I find strange and have mentioned this before is that why hasn't the Las Vegas Convention Center mentioned what is going to be in the tunnel? They're under uh, NDA. They paid they signed a check <laughs> for fifty million. Do they not have the contract? Do they I... not have they not indicated what they believe it will consist of? Or they don't know they, what they they don't know what's going to go in? Are this you saying they, that maybe the Las Vegas Convention Center and Visitors Bureau made a bad decision? No, no I'm whatever. saying I'm saying they have the contract. Why don't they just make it public as to what is in it? Because no, have it you, have would you... be in the contract. 
That's what they're in Have you been to Vegas, doing. Mark? We okay. know exactly I, what's going to be Vegas, in Tony, But if <laughs> Vegas ran the way you said it would, it would be it would be under in no time. Like no, it happens mean, in a Vegas so tunnel. They, they got Vegas we know <laughs> we know exactly what's going to be in this tunnel. If you've been anywhere in Vegas, you know that every single space that occupies people has slot machines. These <laughs> things are going to be filled with slot machines. Well, I would like to see the vehicles that are going to house those slot machines in this tunnel. That's all I'm saying. We don't know what it is. There's been we, there was a 16 person people mover skate. That apparently yeah. has now been said to that eight not, people at eight slot not, machines. Slot uh, and it's it switched to Model up. X's. Who knows? Uh, but it's it's something that uh, uh, is is a big unknown at this point. And uh, man, I, I would love to have any sort of clue I, based on the contract what it is. I think I think the convention center got sold a bill of goods from like the monorail salesman in the Simpsons <laughs> episode. Nice. I just can't believe this uh, that they would be sold by a monorail salesman in the Simpsons. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> 50 million. I, I just I can't I, I, believe that someone's reputation would not be on the line to do that. I, I, I do want to say that that Mark, your criticism of Tony is is somewhat valid, but I can just demolish it. With two words, Bobcat Rodeo. <laughs> okay, in this case, the governor of the state made a really made a lot of bad decisions. The governor had a contract. It indicated what the contract was good for, and the company abided by the contract until they stopped. Well, that's that's part of the contract. I, I, I I'm. I'm I I am saying that somebody knows what's going to be in here, and I'm just I I just I would love to know what it is because if I it's think... if it's a few Model Xs, then the <laughs> Las Vegas Convention Center is just stupid. They're they're a yeah. bunch of idiots. Yeah. No no no. <laughs> it's temporary. Vegas. They're going to be stretched limo Model Xs. Ah, there you go. <laughs> oh no, right. They'll be. They're going to be the Black new electric cover. And a wet bar in the back seat. But, but you know what, guys? We don't have long to wait uh, because it's going to be done by the end of this year. So we'll have an idea before the end of the year as to what this is. 